there he is. <laughs> the sophisticated European. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> so, how are you? All right, yeah. Cage, don't stand there talking to him on the doorstep. Ask him in. Oh, come in. Ma, you remember the boy's friend, Nico? How are you? Good, and you? Put it like this. My boys are out of control. My daughter can't find a man, and my husband is in hell. I'm thinking, God moves in mysterious ways. Oh, that's mother for you. Always a joy. <laughs> <laughs> Nico! You made it, huh? Well, I'll leave you to your men's talk. I hope you impress each other. Hey, look at me. Yeah. Yeah. I thought so. You'll do fine. Fine at what? Some gimp work for the Pegarinos. I owed them. Oh, please. I do it myself, but I think I'm being watched by the cops. Someone. I think I'm about to get pinched again. Shit, really? Yeah, it's happened before. I keep seeing the same car watching. All it means is someone's been speaking, we just have to find out who and make them stop. In the meantime, it chill things out for a bit. So, I need your help. Okay. Atta boy. Come on, I got something to show you. Now, Pegorino's a funny guy. Seems like his main motivation is putting his Guernsey crew on par with the five old families. Ancelotti's being the weakest, he's decided to stir shit up for him. Now, the Ancelotti's have an uneasy alliance with some Albanians. They use them as hitmen, thugs, bullies. I know the type. Much like Jimmy DeGuido uses us. So, what you're gonna do is disguise yourself as an Albanian and then go whack Frankie Garone, an Ancelotti longtime capo. Sure. Which Albanian? Uh, this one. Tony Black didn't do nothing to nobody who didn't deserve it. What the fuck? We're going to the mattresses for sure. Frankie Garone sleeping with the fishes. Anyone who saw us is going to describe the Albanian you got on ice. Alright, nice work. I'll let Jimmy P know about it. Cut on anything he throws my way. Not how long I'm gonna be outside. Let the cops might knock down my door any moment. Take me to the pen. Good luck with that, Jerry. Yeah, thank you. Please, look after my family if I go inside.
Are you trying to get us both killed, you fucking asshole? What? I send you to destroy an organization and you only make the boss disappear. Now his chief lieutenant is holed up in an apartment and he wants to speak to the feds. Whoa, hold on. An organization? No, you fucking idiot! I paid you to do a man's job, you amateur, you fucking boy! No, 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 no. You sent me to kill one guy. One guy who would put you in prison. Bullshit! <sighs> All right, I'll tell you what, genius. I'll tell you fucking what. Tell it to the judge. Tell him I only sent you to kill one guy, so it ain't your fault. <laughs> I wonder what he'll say. Maybe he'll let you walk. On account of you being brain dead and totally fucking <laughs> mentally retarded. Maybe he will. Either way, you're screwed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Look, you gotta do this for me. For us. Come on, you idiot. One more. The guy's a fucking lowlife. He means nothing. If there is a god and he loves us, if there is, he'd want this cut dead. The guy sells heroin to kids. The world is full of bad people. But we've got a lot to lose. I don't have anything to lose, Mr. McCreary. <sighs> How much? You know my price. No. Five. You cool. I don't care. You bastard. Okay. Now, the guy lives in an apartment on Denver between V and W. He's holed up there pretty tight. I left a rifle for you in the trunk of a car at the corner of Albany and M. So go there, give me a call. Found the place. Okay, the mopes hold up in his apartment. It's on the fourth floor on the east side of the street. Go up onto the roof of the building opposite to get a shot at him. What if he isn't standing by the window? Then use your damn imagination to get him to the window. Jesus! Call me when it's done. Six-pound burger. I dealt with him. You did the right thing. I hope that the kids out there get this message and realize that there are better paths to take. 
fake. I'm not interested in your sermon, Mr. McCreary. Let's not pretend that this was anything other than business. There's nothing wrong with admitting that you've done some good. The community thanks you. One percent better. If a hundred people manage that, it'd be a hundred percent. Why didn't you tell me Derek was back? What? Why didn't you tell me you was hanging around with my brother? I assumed if you cared, you'd have found out. Well, I have found out. Jesus, you know Derek's not well. No? No, he's sick. He always was. He's always off getting involved in someone else's fight, making a fool of himself, betraying people, going into hiding. He's an idiot and a coward. It's not my business. Whatever he stood for, he betrayed. He only left here in the first place because he was caught stealing from the Mafia. He's a pathetic wretch. Okay, I got it, so... Now, he's gonna ruin my life. If it wasn't bad enough having a bunch of crooks for brothers, now I've got him threatening to talk to a journalist about his family, about me! Well, tell him to be quiet. I am trying to become the commissioner of police. I'd be a laughing stock. Cop with a famous snitching traitor for a brother. Ugh. You know, the crooks I can handle. See, that I can spin. But not this, not this. Uh, you got the big problem then. Me? Uh -uh. We, my friend, we. You stop him. <coughs> stop? Stop. Kill your brother. He's already dead. Just put him out of his misery. Fuck you. No, fuck you, pal. I'm gonna meet him in the courtyard park off Bismarck and Lancet. Deal with him. Make him a tragedy, not a disaster. Do it, or I will put you away. Oh, don't push me. I can make the meeting. You gotta take him out before he makes it. This is Cain and Abel's stuff, I'm telling you. Question is, which one of us is gonna be wandering the earth with a mark on his head, and who's gonna be six feet under, you know? This phone's running out of battery. Shit! Look after me, Nico. I'm ready. What is the plan? I hope you got over yourself and are ready for some fratricide. Don't forget that I still got dirt on you. I know this ain't nice, but neither of us has a choice. It's sounding like I got no choice. One McCreary brother is going to get me to kill another. That's what I like to hear. I want you to take the window cleaning elevator on one of the buildings around back of the courtyard. Get in position and put Derek out of his misery. Shit, I better get ready to act surprised. Don't miss, Nico. You might hit me. I'll hit who I'm aiming at. Don't worry. Derek, my brother! Frankie, what's this about? 
I've got to say, I'm nervous about this little meeting. Shit, when I heard you was back, I nearly shat myself. Sit down. Why didn't you call me? You could have slept on my couch. I'm doing real well for myself, real well. I'm sorry about how life turned out for you. Officer, come on, clear the area, clear the area. Derek, shit, he's my brother. I did what you wanted me to do. I killed your brother. You don't think I know that? Right, it happened right in front of me. I can feel you looking at me through that scope. Well, it's done. You and me are over. At least Jerry and Packy are honest about what they do. You're a crook, hiding behind his badge and the reputation. You know what, Frankie boy? I'm going to use that. I ever feel the heat on me? I'll call you, and you're going to make shit go away. That cool? Sounds like I don't have a choice. any product to move, I could do with the money. Iron, bad ones who open you give us a call, you know. There be a package waiting for a mafia brother like you in a car by the cafe, you know. You need for me to be me and my in a some tunnel in a EIC. See? Later on, Nico.
Hey man, I successfully delivered the package. Nice, Nico. Got a friend of a bridge in the staff. Come if you want to make another delivery, see? 